y'all welcome back to my channel and if you haven't ran across me before hey i go by dd before i hop into the topic of today's video i have to thank yes soul for sending me their g1 screen bite y'all this company must have read my mind because i really was looking into getting into working out and they decided to send me this bike y'all i'm so in love i've been using it every day since i got it definitely a good idea if you want to get into working out especially in the comfort of your own home and they definitely are having some promotions going on right now if you use the discount code in my bio you will get a hundred dollars off this bike Yes, y'all, $100 off the bike. They definitely gave y'all a good deal just for being a subscriber and watching my channel. So thank you again. Yes, so y'all check that out. Free shipping, all that. Thank you again. Yes, so I really appreciate y'all sending me this bike. If y'all are interested in checking out the bike, go ahead and check out the link in my description. If you are interested in purchasing, I also have a discount code that y'all can use. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the topic of today's video. Y'all can see by the title who this video is about. But before I get into that, y'all know I have to do give out my little disclaimer. Anything I say in this video I found online, I'm not making this video to bash or slander anybody name. Okay, so y'all see by the title that this video is about Shamar. Now, normally I do make videos about bad mamas and things like that. But I did see Shamar come up in the comments a few times. And you know, I never really paid Shamar attention like that. You know, I would see his pictures go viral and stuff like that, but I never really just tuned into him and really seen why he was going viral other than um him having scoliosis and stuff like that but the more i dig the more i see why y'all recommended shamar so we gonna get into shamar real quick so shamar was born march 6 1997 in atlanta georgia this makes him 26 years old today now there are some rumors that shamar's biological uncle is also his dad but shamar has never really came to the internet and said if this is true or not She's my it's not his father, his mama slept with his with her own brother and he looked like that. Now that would be very disrespectful. Like girl, I don't worry about that. I don't worry about that. Now Shamar do have a couple siblings, but the main ones we really hear about is his older sister and his twin brother AJ. Now some people think that AJ really isn't Shamar twin, but Shamar himself has said that this is his twin. Yeah. Oh, who is that? That's my twin brother. What's up? What's up? Fine. Oh, it's two of y'all. Yeah, that's my twin brother. Let me see him. Get close up on him. What's your name? What's my name? Yeah. My name is Lou. <laughs> oh, and then AJ. Where y'all, mommy? Downstairs. Let me meet your mama. Let me see him. Hey. Hey, darling. How are you? I'm fine. How you doing? I do okay. It's also been noted that Shamar's mother did have a problem with alcohol and she had some intellectual disability, so she really couldn't be there for her kids like she should. So the older sister stepped up and she was the main one taking care of Shamar and his brother. Y'all let him fool y'all. I know his ass, personally. Been knowing that little boy since he was a little boy. She do it for his brother, too. She was all of their caregivers. Yes, she was. Because his their mother was not, you know, she wasn't mentally competent to take care of them. Yes, she was. She been their caregiver. That girl used to come over there, pay their rent and everything, and buy them groceries with, with their food stamp card. Come on now. I've been knowing that little boy since It's also been noted that he has some intellectual disabilities as well. He got a learning disability. Like, he can't process all a lot of stuff at one time. Growing up, it has been said that Shamar was really rebellious and disrespectful and he just didn't really want to listen to anybody. He didn't like to listen to authority and he was very disrespectful, especially towards his mother. My mom would come and pour that cover off me and whoop my back. But you know what? I don't blame her. I don't blame my damn mother. Because it was me. It was my fault. I'm the one that was being bad. I'm the one that used to get in trouble a lot. Allegedly, he used to cuss his mama out and they even got into physical fights. And he disrespected his mama so damn bad. God bless the dead. But that boy disrespected his mama. Sure did, calling her and everything. And was fighting her too. So y'all think his sister wrong for keeping his money? Hell no. This caused Shamar to get put out his mama house and he ended up staying with his older sister. But once again, Shamar refused to follow his older sister's rules and was just being very disrespectful and wasn't respecting her household. 
But that girl, Shamar don't want to listen, go by that girl rules. AJ there. So why, what's the problem with Shamar being there? Shamar don't want to go by that girl rules. You can't run somebody else's house. Nigga. Shamar felt like he should have been able to live rent free with her. And he was mad that she was using his SSI checks to pay the bills. I know my mom do have like a, she have an alcohol problem and stuff that, you know, she can't help or whatever. But now, it started to get real serious. I'm coming to make an announcement about my evil ass sister. You think, just because you got my disability check and just because you got AJ's disability check, that you can, you know, try to do all that and try to put us out. But I let y'all pay the rent and the light bills with my check. You're not getting away with this. Okay? You ain't getting away with this. I'm going straight down to that social security office and I'm going to let them know what the hell you're doing. I'm going to go and report you. Because you're my sister. But you haven't even, you, you don't, you don't even give me no money. I have to make my own money. By doing what I be doing. His sister cut ties from him and she refuses to help him to this day. Around this time, Shamar started to post himself on social media and he found himself going viral on several occasions. He was gaining plenty of supporters, but it's clear that he was an easy target for bullying. But he had a good support system and everybody kind of made sure nobody was just obviously bullying him. Shamar really took the attention and ran with it, frequently posting himself on social media and going live. But it seemed like the more and more Shamar started to share about his personal life, the more questions people had because he would post and say some pretty questionable things. So once Shamar had got put out his sister house, he started back living with his mama and they had an apartment together. But sadly, his mother did end up passing away due to her alcoholism, but Shamar continued to stay in their apartment even though he wasn't paying any of the rent. Now obviously Shamar got put out that apartment and after that it seemed like he just kind of bounced from house to house, always being around different people and different men. Obviously Shamar is gay and he presents himself more like a female. And it seems like he's really promiscuous because he always has a new man. And it's clear that Shamar put his men before anyone and anything. Once when he was homeless, he had even turned down a place to stay because his male friend couldn't stay with him. Well, damn, Shamar, you should have been over here while he had his business. You could have been getting so well, you say he's tired. Yeah, but, you know, you don't want him over there, so... I ain't saying I want him over here because he can't. I let him come over here. He said he's on the way. I'm just saying, you can spend a night, but he cannot spend a night in my house, Shamar. I don't know him like that. I can't go through the, the strength of my goddamn house. But he had, he had that type of person. Uh, you know him. I do not know him. He can't stay in my house. I'm just saying. You can. I know. But you want me to let your old man spend a night with you? Yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, I don't know him like that. You know, I don't know him like that. Like, you know, you got somewhere to go. He just don't. You do. You come, but he can't. <laughs> well, I'm, yeah, I just said I would get out and say I don't That's sad, baby. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna hold you. Now Shamar do have a long term boyfriend and his name is Larry. Now Shamar met Larry when he was in the streets and they were both homeless and it's clear that Larry has some intellectual disabilities as well. You see, I'm looking at my lab right now. At any day, you know, like, if you talk to somebody, you don't like to talk about you, why you gonna talk about them? Pants. Besides Larry, Shamar has posted a couple men that he claims to be in a relationship with, but to the viewers, it's clear that these men are taking advantage of Shamar and they aren't around him for the right reason. Obviously, they see the clout that Shamar has and the attention that just being around him gets and they're just trying to financially gain off him. Shamar is always in some type of situation or altercation and his friends will be the first ones there egging him on, giving him liquor, knowing he can't handle his alcohol. And it's clear that Shamar has a very short temper. Leave me alone! Leave me alone, bro! You're right! Put your ass, Shamar! Put your ass, Shamar! Put your ass, Shamar!
You can defend yourself. It can be a, it's gonna be a one on one. Ain't nobody gonna touch her. Ain't nobody gonna touch you. Ain't nobody gonna touch her. If y'all want to fight, it's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. You scared fuck one Ain't nobody going to jump. Yeah, Ain't nobody jumping in. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to jump in. Just shut the fuck up. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, you can just feel yourself. Chill out. Chill out. Okay, chill out. The fuck? Okay, chill out. I'm trying to show up. Okay, chill out. I'm trying to show up. Okay, chill out. I'm a red ass bitch. Okay, so chill out. Because if I was a red ass friend, bitch, I wouldn't be with it. Shamar is constantly falling out with the people around him because it's clear that they was never really there for him from the jump but the more you watch you can see it's clear that shamar is not just the victim in his situations and he plays his role as well it's obvious that shamar doesn't really have any money management skills it's clear whatever type of income he does get he quickly blows his money and he'll be back at square one like i mentioned before he did used to get ssi checks from the government but he doesn't receive them anymore because of his social media income. It's been a lot of speculation how Shamar really do make his money because it seems like he doesn't really profit off his social media platforms. And it's clear that whatever money he does make from social media, he'll quickly go spend it and be left with nothing. The problem with Shamar is he feels like he can meet these people and live rent free under their roof without paying anything because he's Shamar, he feels like he's famous, he got it made. And you know, he feels like he's too good to have to pay these people. They should wanna house him for free. So while he living rent free, he wanna go spend his checks on stuff like hair, nails and stuff for himself and send putting that up and try to get a spot for him it's also been noted that shamar do have a problem with lying it seems like he's kind of a pathological liar he's quick to tell a lie even when things can be easily proven is not true tell him tell them what he did to that man he told they don't know about that he told them that the um maintenance man him and that man did not touch shamar and that man went to jail and that's my whole thing so shamar is a big ass liar I don't care. And what he did. And that man got out because so Shamar. Why did he get out? Why did he get out? Because Shamar told him he was lying. Everybody been beating on me. I see a lot of people keep DM me saying this man beat me. This man did this man did that. This man did not beat me. What happened was I was asleep. I got up and I tried to go and, you know what I'm saying? I tried to go and, you know, talk to one of his brothers to see where my nigga was. And that's when I hit my uh, head on the on the metal thing. So did nobody beat me? So y'all can really get that out y'all head. Did nobody beat me? It's clear that Shamar kind of have a hard time with accepting that he is the problem in the situation sometimes, and he's quick to pin the blame on somebody else. He's also quick to say that he's gonna hurt himself every time he gets himself into a tough situation. And it's clear that he's trying to manipulate people into feeling sorry for him or having some type of sympathy for him. To me, Shamar really act like a child. You can tell he just has a childlike mentality and never really grew out of that. He expects the people around him to pamper him and to kind of kiss his ASS because he has a disability and he feels like he's famous. Shamar has found himself homeless plenty of times. And when he comes online begging for money, the supporters will give him a lot of good suggestions like you live in Atlanta, you're disabled, you're part of the LGBTQ community. There's so many resources out here for you to get housing. But every time somebody brings up any type of help, he'll quickly deny it saying he's even too famous to be in the shelter. I think it'll be best for you to go to the shelter though because that way they can they can move forward with getting you somewhere to set. The people in the yes, comments. Definitely I'm thinking about doing is going to a shelter because my supporter is like there is like you know what I'm saying? Telling me about to the shelter and shit like that. And I'm out here like there is sitting in the garage and shit like that. She's on the bridge. And yeah, didn't so. Eat. I didn't even eat. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm there. Like, over here, there is starving right now. This like, girl will be out. This girl will be out. She says she got her you Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Hey, and like, he's trying to help you. Do you have to give two a shelter then you really will help you? Well, who can tell me to the shelter then? Pin your cash with it. Pin your cash with it. I'll cash with you. But and see, Shamar, she cash and, and, you. And, and see how much um, the Uber or Lyft will be. I'll cash with you so you can get there. You told me to send him an Uber. Don't cash at them. Shamar, well, you can do that because I don't do not listen to them because who else just said that? Like, they don't want to They want to see me out here in the streets. They want to see if they have to me. No, I don't think they want to yes, see it. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They want to see it. They have to. 
So they catch him. Pay me the money and I'll go to the shelter. I can call the lift on my own. Clear. Like, like where is the money? I'm about that. But why do I have to send you the money for the lift? Why I because I'm going to get a lift to go to the shelter. So what is the difference? If everybody want me to go to the shelter, I'm trying to go to the shelter. Okay. Do you want me to go to the shelter or not? Okay. Clearly, he don't. He don't want to go to the yep. shelter. Yeah. Okay. Money. Okay. You can drop me down. I try. I don't really want to go to the shelter. I mean, even though the shelter will help you, but. I don't want that because too many people gonna be knowing me and they're gonna be just type of shit. It's clear that Shamar really don't know how to handle any type of situation on his own. Anytime something goes on in, in his life, he picking up the phone, hopping online, making a video and asking for some money instead of getting off social media and just handling business in real life. It's also clear that he kind of has a hard time keeping up with himself. Even when he's not homeless, he's often seen ungroomed, without a haircut, in the same clothes for days. and. People around him have kind of said he has a little older to him. To me, it's clear that Shamar needs some type of guidance and it's clear that he could benefit from some type of caretaker that could help him with his finances and just keeping up with himself in general. Everyone he hangs around currently is honestly around him for the wrong reasons. It's clear that they just using him for their own financial gain. But despite all this, Shamar continued to post his life online and go live. And he even landed himself a spot on the Now That's TV show called Zodiac House. Shamar also had a little appearance on the Zeus show Bad Boys Houston. Shout out Houston. Yeah, but he had appearance on that show Bad Boys Houston as well. He even started to release music and the one song he has out on YouTube right now almost has a million views. It's clear that Shamar has a big platform, but obviously he isn't handling business how he should be behind the scenes. It seemed like as soon as he got paid for these appearances, he would run out and blow the money and be back at square one. It seemed like Shamar don't really realize that being a social media influencer is still a job. I feel like he think he hasn't made, he's famous now, so he can really sit back and let everybody else do the work for him. But Shamar really don't realize he's not at that position yet where he has employees that do all the work and he just sits back and collects the funds he really still have to hustle and grind to get to a better position to be at the point where he can sit back and let people handle business at this point with all these tv appearances and a song with almost 1 million views on youtube it's no way he should have been on the streets honestly once he saw that video going up and how much numbers he could really pull he should have been in the studio recording more music doing skits dropping youtube videos just anything to really keep his name out there in a positive light. But the truth is, anytime you hear about Shamar's name, it's never anything good attached to it. Anytime Shamar really hits the media, it's because he either got in a fight, he's in an altercation with somebody, he was arguing with somebody, or, you know, everybody kind of just left at him in the situation. Now, Shamar had been cool with Shakina from Love & Hip Hop for a couple years, and it seemed like she was really the only genuine friend that he had in his corner. Shakina would give Shamar some real genuine advice, and she would just always keep it real with Shamar like a real friend would. You going to Miami, you can't pay your rent. <clears throat> because the rent, the rent off of clothes today. Okay, but you don't need to be going to Miami if you can't pay your rent. I would be back tomorrow anyway. I said you don't need to be going to Miami if you can't pay your rent. Huh? You do not need to be going to Miami if you can't pay your rent. I know, but it didn't. I ain't know you know that ain't making no sense. It's like priorities over everything. You about to prioritize before going to Miami. You might can't go to Miami because you got wait. How much money you got? I already know. I um right now I'm at like two hundred, but on my cash, I don't have a car. Okay, so if you got $200, do what we're going to do because I'm going to help you out. I'm not going to do this with you. What we're going to do is if you got 200 I'm going to give you 150 and you're going to pay the rent. You can't go to Miami, friend. I'm your friend and I'm with you, but if you got you some money, I ain't going to pay your whole rent for you to go to Miami and ball because, see, I can't go ball. You see what I'm saying? Right now, I'm going to go to work. You feel me? Right. So if you got 200 I I'll give you the other money. I'll give you the 150 I'm not going to pay the whole thing if you got some money. I ain't doing it. But eventually, Shamar turned on her, dragging her name through the mud and just created an unnecessary mess. But as soon as Shamar's funds ran dry and he needed Shakina help again, he was running back to her and apologizing. The first person, who got your first page back? Me, right? Yeah, you did. Okay, I just want to make sure I got your first page back and I paid for it. Did you ever pay my money back? No, you didn't. 
Right. Hello. Hello. Yeah, did you ever give me my money back the first time I got your page? No. Okay. So this your next time getting your page back. And I told you he was gonna get the page back. You went off, you showed out. It's cool, not tripping, okay? Okay. Yeah. You're going to have to pay that boy for his page. I don't have anything to do with it. I'm not going to call him and ask him to give you a discount. So how much do I got to pay him? I don't know, sweetheart. You're going to have to pay him, though. And you know he's my little nephew, and he's been seeing you talking about me like a dog, so I don't know how much he's going to charge you. Well, Weren't you just the same person? Wait a minute. Hold on, sweetheart. Let me say something to you. You were just talking about me online. You just drugged me to everybody. You let everybody talk about me again. You talked about me with them, and now you want me to turn around and help you get your pay? Are you okay? I mean, if, is there anything we could just talk about or we could just... What is it that we talking about? You always going big on me whenever you feel like it. And you use me again to try to get your followers up. And I told you this boy was going to get your page back. And you didn't, he didn't get it back fast enough. So then you turned around and you started talking about me on social media. You started dragging me again. You said I don't like gays. You started bashing me. I'm not with it. I don't have nothing to do with it. And you ain't never apologized. Yesterday, you told me you're going to kick my motherfucking ass. Remember? Yeah, I did. But I don't think I said out of anger. It seemed like any genuine friend Shamar has, he runs them away. I honestly feel like he does this because he secretly loves the chaos and the drama that these fake friends bring him. And I feel like he really loves the attention that the drama brings as well. Shamar really end up in a lot of dangerous situations and he really never has anybody in his corner to help him out. It just seemed like he really spiraling downwards and he doesn't even realize it yet. Now currently he was just homeless but it seems like he's found him somewhere new to stay for now. All I can really say about this situation is I hope Shamar can find some peace and stability and I I also hope he can realize who's really there for him and who is not. All the people he be around are not really for him. Those are fake friends and they always just want to see him being embarrassed for their own personal content. But I feel like Shamar really do need to realize that people don't owe him anything and life really is unfair. We all have to just play the cards that we're dealt. But I truly wish Shamar the best. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. Please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe only if you like the video. Check out the link in the description. Y'all go take a look at that bike. I promise the discount code is really, really good. Um, if y'all have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments. I read every single comment. Please comment, comment, comment. I love reading y'all comments. Um, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Hey, 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 hey.